The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. A very pleasant good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our Inform Coaches webinar on this, the first day of November 2016. Thank you so much for being part of our hour together. We have a wonderful, wonderful lineup uh, in place. You're going to love the opportunity to, to hear from the one and only Dr. Pacheco uh, once again. We're always thrilled when uh, Dr. Pacheco is available to join us on our weekly webinars. And today happens to be one of those days. So uh, get ready, notepad in hand, uh, and, uh, and we're just going to have a wonderful time together. Dr. Pacheco and I were just uh, speaking with each other right before we began the call, and we thought it might be interesting to know how many of you have certified as a coach within the last two months. So if, if that description fits you, if you are a relatively new coach, let's say within about the last couple of months, will you type in on your comment line, just say, yes, a new coach, or, or something to that effect. We know several of you, uh, perhaps the majority of you, have uh, been certified for a while and uh, participate regularly in our weekly webinars. That's fabulous, too. We, of course, uh, want you here with us as well. But uh, Dr. Pacheco's presentation might be a bit of a review for those of you who have uh, been with us uh, for a while. For those of you who are recently certified, you'll find the information uh, completely uh, current, relevant, and, and just exciting news. In fact, he just mentioned a, a great development that just happened this morning that he'll share with us a little bit later on in our uh, conversation together. My name is Scott Terry. I have the pleasure of being the, uh, the host for today's webinar. I work here at our home office in Lehigh, Utah. And again, welcome uh, one and all. Let's uh, just jump right into things. As you know, uh, there is an opportunity uh, for you to type in your questions and comments. We just asked those of you who are new coaches to, to type in a comment, letting us know that you're new. But we'll welcome any, any questions as they relate to the INFORM program, anything uh, that you hear Dr. Pacheco uh, share with us today. If you have questions about that or, or comments, please type that, uh, that information in. And as we get towards the end of our time together, we'll make sure that we save time to address as many of your questions as we can. As indicated, Dr. Luis Pacheco, and uh, to, to those of you who are his, his friends, which is all of us, he invites you to call him Dr. P. He is just a, a great, great man. I had the pleasure of meeting Dr. Pacheco probably a couple of years ago now. He is a medical doctor based in Southern California. He's part of Nature Sunshine's Worldwide Medical and Scientific Advisory Board. So he, along with a, a handful of other select uh, physicians and, and contemporaries make up our medical and scientific advisory board. They guide our direction. They make plans for new products. They are, are really the, the steering group for, for the future of Nature Sunshine, especially in terms of products. So we're especially excited to have someone of his caliber on our call today. He was instrumental in bringing the INFORM program together in uh, creating the products that make up our INFORM line of products, and most recently, of course, the, the Metabolic Age Support System Kit that hopefully all of you are, are familiar with. He was, uh, as I mentioned, just a, a key key figure in putting that kit together and, and being involved in the scientific studies that are, we now have that to, to share. He's a board certified, he is board certified in family medicine, a clinical associate professor at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, and just a, a fine, fine gentleman. Uh, we hope that at some point in time you'll have the chance to come to one of our larger events where uh, Dr. Pacheco usually is at, and he, he gives us all the latest and greatest information as it uh, pertains to what it is we're trying to do to uh, tackle the obesity epidemic that's all around us. So, Dr. Pacheco, on behalf of us here at Home Office and the, uh, the many people from coast to coast, we're honored to have you with us, and we invite you to, uh, to take over the call and uh, let us know this great information that we should know to, to go help as many people as we possibly can. Great. Thank you so much, Scott. A real pleasure to be here. Dr. P here. Good morning to everyone. Uh, excited that you're all uh, joining us today. Thank you for taking time out from your busy schedules. Uh, a lot of great information, and for those of you who are pretty new to the INFORM program, especially as coaches, as Scott was mentioning, please let him know if you're a new coach, especially within the last couple of months, 
and then Scott will give us an idea. Well, of how many how many folks really are brand new, and then how many of you are experienced? And what we'd like to do today is really kind of review some of the key speaking points, those key issues and those key points that we feel we really should emphasize when presenting the informed program. So these are the things that we want to talk about to make sure that participants, that people that may be interested, really are aware of because they are extremely important points. And as Scott mentioned, a little bit later on, I also have some fantastic news. I mean, really exciting news. Just received an email uh, this morning um, from Dr. Matthew Tripp, our Chief Science uh, Officer, and I'm going to be sharing that with you in a few minutes. There will also be a few questions from me to you, so get your keyboards ready so that you can type in your answers, and uh, that should be fun also, so we'll make it a little bit uh, interactive. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to be reviewing, again, some of the key issues about INFORM and why INFORM really is so important and what are the major, major health megatrends that are going on, not only in the U.S., but on a worldwide basis. So as we go to our first slide, let me see if I can click it on here. Oh, there we go. Good. Thank you, Scott. Working perfectly. So when we look at what's going on, just in the U.S., every year over $3 trillion or almost $10,000 a person is spent on health care. Think about it, almost $10,000 a person. And that includes a lot of people, you know, who usually don't even go to the doctor. So some folks, that number is much, much higher. So when we look at what's causing this devastating trend and what's going on, well, the thing that jumps out is this obesity epidemic that really is affecting people and families uh, all over the world. Okay, let's click on here. There we go. So looking at BMI and what's happening, as we know, BMI under 25 considered uh, healthy. That's just body mass index. Remember, it doesn't mean that the person may be healthy. And then we start looking as we increase the uh, body mass index going to over 30, over 30 considered overweight, and then, uh, excuse me, 25 to 29th overweight, and then over 30 considered obese, 91 million adults and children. And you know what? These numbers are really actually closer to 100 million people in the U.S. Imagine that, 100 million people in the U.S. That means 100 million people in the U.S. potentially could benefit from the INFORM program. So for those of you who know me and have heard me speak before, when there's a problem, I don't like to focus just on the problem part of the problem. I like to look at the problem as an opportunity for a solution. I like to look at the positive side of it. So there's definitely a huge problem that we're facing and that's affecting people's lives in very negative ways, but it's a real opportunity for a solution and that's where you and INFORM come in. So when we start looking at uh, blood sugar levels, this is also something that's going hand in hand with the increased weight that we're seeing. And when we look at blood sugar readings, as we know, diabetes, for example, is defined as 126, so it would be right in here, 126 milligrams per deciliter uh, when you're fasting. So that's a fasting blood sugar. However, we now know that blood sugar is over 100, which is even lower than this 110. Blood sugar is lower than 100, are considered to be a warning sign uh, when fasting. Remember, these are fasting levels we're talking about. So over 100 now considered to be a warning sign, over 126 uh, diabetes. You know what, in the U.S. right now, there are probably over 30 million diabetics right now. And then if we look at the pre-diabetics, that group right under the 126, and we can measure that with hemoglobin A1C levels, uh, pre-diabetics now, uh, guess what the number is? The number is... Uh, Actually, you know what, let me throw that question out there, Scott. How many people have prediabetes estimated in the U.S. right now? Write your answers really quickly because we're going to keep moving on to the next slide. But how many people would you say have prediabetes in the U.S. right now? And we'll give you about five seconds of a little music. <laughs> there you go. Do we get some answers? We got a couple. Yes, uh, Cindy, maybe I shouldn't mention names. <laughs> um, one person is uh, names estimating are okay. about names half. Are okay. Names are okay. Names are okay. Just first name. Okay. Cindy's suggesting about 50%. Uh, Mark 
is suggesting in, in people about 100 million people. Mark, well, both of you, great answers. Mark, right on the button. Because the, the data we had a few years ago, Mark, was about 86 million pre-diabetics. The number now is closer to 100 million Americans with pre-diabetes. And guess what? They all have metabolic syndrome also. So phenomenal. Okay, Scott, you're going to need to line Mark up with two weeks, all paid vacation somewhere. So all right, we'll work on that. that. Just, just don't tell corporate about that. But no, right. that's the exactly. part. So 100 million people right now also with prediabetes. And then when we start looking at what's going on with our cardiovascular system with the heart and taking a look at um, our cholesterol levels, in particular LDL. So remember, is L LDL, is that the one we want, high or low? An easy way to help people re remember. Remember, I know you coaches know this, but an easy way to help your participants remember is, remember, LDL starts with an L. We want that low. We want LDL to be low. That's the bad cholesterol that we call the so-called bad cholesterol. HDL, our so-called good cholesterol, the beneficial cholesterol, HDL, we want it high. Starts with an H, easy to remember. LDL, we want it low. So when we start looking at LDL levels, unfortunately, same trend. Uh, same trend just continues to go higher and higher. Uh, again, 70, 80, who knows, maybe 100 million people in the U.S. with high LDL cholesterol levels, which has been associated with cardiovascular problems. So what's going on here? Why are we gaining more weight? Uh, why are we less healthy? Why are we aging more quickly? Why are we feeling tired, run down? So many people complain of fatigue, not having enough energy. I'm sure you've had a number of clients. They've got aches and pains. They just generally don't feel good and oftentimes emotionally they're not doing well. Anxiety, feeling down, just basically run down and not, not very happy. So when we look at what we can do to try to escape this trend of the high sugar levels, being overweight, of the high cholesterol, what's going on here? The problem is metabolic dysfunction or the famous metabolic syndrome. And you're going to be hearing a lot about metabolic syndrome, I predict, in the next two to three years. It's starting to happen. When I was talking about this about 15 years ago, people would kind of look at me like I was sort of nuts. They'd be, Dr. P, what are you, what are you talking about this metabolic syndrome and diabetes? But I was seeing it in the clinics in which I've been working, well, almost for the past 30 years. I basically practice uh, family medicine in inner city areas, underserved populations, unfortunately, a lot of obesity, a lot of metabolic syndrome, a lot of diabetes, high blood pressure, cardiovascular diseases, as well as dementia and other inflammatory problems. And we could see this coming. You know, when I started practicing medicine, most of my uh, patients with, let's say, diabetes and high blood sugar, they were 60 years old, they were 65, sometimes they were 55, you know, so they were already well into middle age. And then I noticed they started getting young. All of a sudden I'm starting to see more 40-year-olds. Then I'm seeing mid-30-year-olds. Then we started seeing a number of years ago a lot of young women, especially during pregnancy, suffering from gestational diabetes, which in itself is, a, is, is an epidemic, which are now 20-year-old women with gestational diabetes. So during pregnancy, sugars are out of control, and of course this affects the baby. So that's when I really dedicated myself to trying to do something about this metabolic syndrome because I saw all of the devastating effects that it was having on my patients and on their families. Remember, number one cause of blindness now is felt to be uh, diabetes and high blood sugar. Remember, and it's all stemming from the metabolic syndrome. If we look at number one cause of uh, heart disease and heart attacks, guess what? It's high blood sugars and diabetes. Uh, Non-traumatic amputations of the legs. Again, take a wild guess. Diabetes. So we can go down the line. Now even uh, some people are referring to Alzheimer's and CNS, central nervous system problems, as type 3 diabetes, that there's a real link between our brain function and the level of metabolic dysfunction, inflammation, and the resulting high blood sugar. So right now, one out of three people have metabolic syndrome in the U.S., and this is actually uh, worldwide pretty much. And then if you look at certain age groups, it's felt that in the 60 and over age group, this is important for some of your uh, patients who are in middle age, up to half of them, 50% may have metabolic syndrome. 
It's amazing. Now, what's one of the big problems with metabolic syndrome? Nine out of ten people don't even know they have it. Ninety percent of people don't even know they have metabolic syndrome. So this is something that you're going to be helping them with. And in other talks, we're also going to go into more detail regarding metabolic syndrome. So what's another one of the problems that I've seen over the years is that, unfortunately, uh, in Western medicine, we have this tendency uh, of, not tendency, but it's what we do, of treating the symptoms only. So number one, not a holistic approach to, hey, there's an actual person here. It's not just a liver we need to get better, or just the heart needs to get better, or the kidneys. There's a person here also. We need a holistic approach, a whole person approach, and I feel a community approach, because that's a person who's not living in isolation. They're also part of a community. So that's what I love about the INFORM program. It really looks at the whole person. So here we go. Another question for you. Get your fingers ready at the keyboards. So for example, what are some of the prescription medications that have been used to treat some of the symptoms of, let's say, high blood sugar, diabetes? So you can just list one of them. And if you know one for blood pressure, and if you know one for cholesterol, so we'll go with the big three. High blood sugars, blood pressure, and cholesterol. So you've got 10 seconds. Let's see who are the quick typists here, Scott. And let's see. Okay, we're getting an answer. And you got cool. some already? We do. Yeah, they're oh, coming in pretty quick. Fast. They're, they're uh, quick. They're alert. They, okay, go ahead. They, they, they hope that we're giving away another two-week uh, free trip somewhere, I, I think. Uh, we'll have to work on that. Cindy, Free trip to uh, Podunk, USA. No, just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of metformins uh, being typed in. Uh, a okay, lot of okay, so let, let's talk about metformin. Absolutely, metformin, been around for a long time. One of the, because uh, you may have a number of clients that are already taking metformin. I feel one of the advantages to metformin is that it's been around for many years, like I mentioned, so we have a better idea of the side effect profile. The key is make sure that your clients who are taking metformin uh, are getting their kidney function checked regularly. That's something that we need to make sure with metformin. Kidney function needs to be checked regularly, something that their uh, health care providers should be doing on a regular basis. Some of the newer fangal diabetes medications, I'm a bit concerned because of the uh, increased side effects. Go ahead, Scott. Okay, perfect. Uh, seen a lot of statins come in. Um, so statins, okay, statin. Lipitor. Yeah. Good. Okay. So statins, let me, let me comment on the statins because statins, it seems like almost every other person I meet on the street is taking a statin. It, it's really unbelievable and especially with the newer guidelines that came out about, well, it's been now about, what, two years? Uh, it's almost like everybody in the world seems like they could qualify for statin. What's my, what's one of my issues with the statins? Well, we know that the statins can lower lipid levels and cholesterol. That's, that's been documented. Now, some studies also say they may help with cardiovascular mortality and cardi uh, cardiac disease risk. One of the issues with the statins, though, is that in some folks, they can make them feel very tired, very run down, and achy. I don't know if you have clients at some times. You might even go and give them a hug, and they sort of go, ah, oof. Their muscles can actually be sore because of the statin-induced myositis. That's the statin-induced muscle inflammation. And this is something that is seen in quite a number of patients. So between the fatigue and being really sore in your muscles, that's not a great combination. So what's going on with a lot of these folks that are taking statins? Well, many of them are having their CoQ10 levels depleted, coenzyme Q10 levels depleted. That's why I always recommend anyone who's taking statins take at least 100 milligrams of CoQ10 daily. And Nature Sunshine has an excellent CoQ10 product, which I personally take on a daily basis, even though I'm not on a statin. Just because also your CoQ10 levels tend to go down uh, with age. So as we get older, CoQ10 levels go down, another reason why we may feel more fatigued and without energy. Okay, let's do one more, Scott. Okay, sounds good. Uh, a couple brand names or specific medications being mentioned. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but lisinopril, uh, lisinopril, uh, prevastatin, yeah. uh, gerbride or gerbride have been typed in. Excellent, excellent to those folks. So gliburide, very commonly used in the sulfonylurea class of medications. You're also going to see glipizide with a number of your clients. So those are for lowering blood sugar. 
uh, very commonly used. Again, the advantage to them is they've been around for a long time. They're not newfangled ones that we don't know too much about. I'm a little bit wary, like I said, of some of the newer agents. Can they be beneficial? Yes. Do we know enough about them? In my opinion, no. Glipizide, Libiride, they have been around, uh, and they can help uh, reduce blood sugar. Lisinopril, also very common. You're going to see a number of people are taking lisinopril or enalapril. If it ends in pril, then it's usually from what we call the ACE inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, and those are also very commonly used for blood pressure in, in, in people who are having uh, high sugar. So I think it's, it's important just to be aware of some of the more common medications that some of your clients may be taking, and remember, especially with the statins, let's make sure they're getting enough CoQ10. So let's keep moving, but great job, everybody. Thank you for writing in your answers. So as we know, unfortunately, this real focus on organ-specific, very targeted to one organ or one part of the body, but really not attacking the source of the problem, and also not taking into account the whole person, like I said. So the beauty of the INFORM program is that it focuses on the root cause. What is really causing all of these issues? What is a, and a very important contributing factor in causing this whole metabolic dysfunction, which really leads to a metabolic breakdown. And so, as you know, in our Hughes, in your Hughes Center for Research and Innovation, which is in Lehigh, and if you haven't visited, please go and visit it. It is spectacular. Uh, honestly, we have some equipment in the Hughes Center that we don't have at the medical center, uh, where I'm clinical associate professor in Los Angeles. I mean, it is really state-of-the-art. There's a very nice picture of our, of our beloved Chief Science Officer, Dr. Matthew Tripp. And what's been going on in the Hughes Center is we've been doing scientific investigations and also clinical research. Because there's a lot of programs, as you know. Every program says, oh, this is the best program, and take this, and you're going to lose you know, 30 pounds in the first week, and all kinds of weird and wacky diets and things. And everybody says they have the best, but Nobody's really backing it up. Um, in this case, you have the proof to back it up. Clinically tested program, clinically studied program, and you can see it here. Here's the nice logo that's important to point out to people. And you've heard me say this before. Some of you uh, long-time um, informed coaches, really important to let people know, look, this is a clinically studied program. It's not because I'm saying it or you're saying it that it's wonderful. Yeah, that's great, and we may have had great personal experience, but it's also a clinically studied program, and that's why this icon is on all of the products in the INFORM program. So it's a clinically studied program. And here's the big surprise. Uh, get your pencils and paper ready. Um, just this morning, because as part of the studies that have been going on uh, regarding the INFORM program and some of the, the products in INFORM, the naturally based products, I received an email from Dr. Tripp. We now have the published data. It's now been published in a peer-reviewed um, scientific journal. So if you want to write this down so you can look it up, you ready there also, Scott? I'm, go I'm going to read it a couple of times because it's a little tricky but not too bad. Everybody ready? Yes, sir. Okay, so it's in the Canadian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology. So it's the Canadian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology. Then put a comma after that. And I'm going to give you some numbers. You should be able to Google this and pull it up. So then we have 10.1139. So that's 10.1139 slash CJPP, which is Canadian Journal of Physiology and Psych uh, Pharmacology. So it's slash CJPP hyphen 2016 hyphen 0062. Did you get that, Scott? Was it was it clear? I, I believe so. Canadian Journal of uh, Physiology, and then what was the second? Uh, Pharmacology. Uh, Pharmacology. Okay. Perfect. So Canadian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology. Go ahead. Why don't you read back what you got just to make sure that everybody, that we're on the same page. You bet. And then it's uh, 10.1139 uh, forward slash CJPP 
hyphen two zero one six hyphen zero zero six two. Excellent. That's it. And so the I'll give you the title just so so you, the gang here knows um, the title. But you don't have to write this all down. But basically, the study was the synergistic in vitro antioxidant activity and observational clinical trial of F105, which F105 is basically our cardiox LDL, a phytochemical formulation including citrus bergamia in subjects with moderate cardiometabolic risk factors. So a short way to shorten that is basically the results that you've been sharing uh, with your clients and also that you learned in your informed coaches certification. But the beauty is now we have it online, published data, peer-reviewed, not-for-profit uh, publisher. This is really a scientific journal. And, and I think, you know, we can be extremely uh, proud of the, of the job that your scientific team led by Dr. Tripp and Dr. John Babish also instrumental uh, in getting this done. For those of you who know Clint, uh, Clint Dahlberg over at, in Lehigh, really a phenomenal job. I'm just really excited about this, Scott, because it's something that for those people who, you know, who are kind of non-believers, and also even this is great to show to healthcare practitioners and to doctors, because you know, unfortunately a lot of doctors, a lot of my colleagues, they'll say, well, show me the data. You know, say, look, this herbal preparation has been shown to be beneficial, you know, let's say we're talking about curcumin, we know curcumin is a great anti-inflammatory. Then we go, well, show me the studies, show me the data, guess what? Now you can show them the data. So I'm super excited about this, Scott, what do you think? Oh my goodness, Dr. P, absolutely. This, this is the day we've been waiting for, and uh, the fact that it, it was just this morning is, is huge. Uh, I'm, I'm getting several people type in, Dr. P, if, do you mind going over the the best way to find this on the web one more time. Uh, you know what? With what I gave you, let's try this. Mm -hmm. If they try entering that whole, you know, Canadian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology in the Google search, and let's see if it comes up. I haven't tried that myself yet because I just received it this morning. But let's give it a try together. So if everybody kind of, I'm going to copy and paste mine from the actual uh, article. Okay. And let's see. Oh, someone just typed in that they found it. Thank you, Kathy. She oh, said they did. That she found it. Yes, and if uh, if people would like, uh, while you're looking, Dr. P, I can uh, read exactly what. Uh, oh, Marcia found it too. Good. Some people are finding it, so that's there. That's it is. News. Yeah. If we enter in what what you just read off, uh, Scott, it should pop right up. Canadian Journal of Physiology and Pharmacology. So it sounds like people are finding it. If anyone is having difficulty with it, please let Scott know, and he can either text you or email you that uh, address, that title, so that you can reference it also. But I, this is, you know, this is super exciting because now, like I said, especially with doctors who are non-believers, hey, show me the data. Show, okay, here you go. Here, here, here's a peer-reviewed study, and it's very impressive, and the results are amazing. You know, like it says here in this slide here, the results were astonishing. This is not hyperbole, everyone. Some of the results here are, are better than what we see with the prescription medications that lead to a number of side effects, as we know. I mean, significantly better. This is groundbreaking information. So let's make sure that when you talk to clients and people who are interested, I mean, we need to be passionate about this because this is a big deal. Even though some people may not realize the help that you're giving them by getting them in the uninformed program, by improving their lives, by improving their health, if they need to lose weight, by losing that weight, the inflammation, you may be saved helping them from losing a toe or a foot or a leg, honestly, because of the issue of the amputations. You may be helping them from going blind. That's why I'm so passionate about this. Scott will tell you. This is something that is so significant that we can affect so many thousands and hundreds of thousands of people because of Nature Sunshine's reach in, what, over 40 countries around the world. I mean, this is really phenomenal. And then at the same time, it's also great for your, your, your financial health, which is very important because we know lower financial health, well, it's lower physical health also. So it's really a win-win for everybody. So as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about it. So let's look at some of these results. And you're familiar with uh, Joanne. For those of you who are not familiar with Joanne, unbelievable results. Remember, the initial period for Inform is 90 days, as you know. 
So it's a 90-day initial period. Then there's the maintenance plan, which we'll cover uh, at another time. But we also have the maintenance kit now. And uh, the study involved two groups of participants. And it was, uh, I think, 40-some-odd uh, participants. And you know the results were amazing. This is just at the end of 90 days right here. And in a second, we'll look at Joanne's. At the end of 90 days, the group who received the informed products experienced median improvement in the following areas. This is phenomenal. Look. More than a 10% reduction in their blood pressure, systolic and diastolic. That's huge. I mean, if you get that with medications, you're doing great. 18% reduction in total cholesterol. And everybody's walking around with bad cholesterol levels. 19, almost a 20% reduction in that LDL bad cholesterol. This is really significant. Look at this, 12% reduction in body weight. What does that mean? That means if somebody weighs 200 pounds and they lose 12%, well, guess what? They just lost over 20 pounds in 90 days. That's re remarkable. Significant reduction in fat mass, over 20%. And then this kick, this one is, this is phenomenal here, Scott. I mean, this is something we really need to be, people be aware of. Over 50% reduction in triglycerides. And what are the triglycerides? Well, actually, okay, let me ask the, the group. What are the triglycerides while I go on to Joanne's results? So what, what are triglycerides? And then I'll discuss why it's significant. So if we look at Joanne, and Joanne has now been on the, the program for several, several months, and it was just phenomenal when she uh, came to the, the, the big event this year in Dallas. Uh, it was just remarkable. Her metabolic age increased by, I mean, decreased, improved by 21 years, over 20 years. She's lost over 60 pounds, and she's maintained it. That's the key. This is not a yo-yo type diet. Cholesterol. 37 points. And then if you look at the before and afters, I mean, she says she feels like a new person. She's, she's got grandchildren. She says she's, you know, enjoying her time with them. She just feels wonderful. And, and it's great to see. I mean, you can see the smile on her face. She just feels great. So what do we get for our triglyceride question, Scott? Okay. Uh, the common answer is fat in the blood. Excellent. And that's all we need to explain, this is the fat in the blood, and obviously that doesn't sound like a good thing. We don't want a bunch of fat in the blood accumulating and then decreasing circulation. As you know, when we get too much accumulation of inflammatory particles, inflammatory material, and fat in our blood vessels, let's say particularly in the coronary arteries, the, the blood vessels around the heart, well, it can lead to heart disease and heart attacks. If we're getting too decreased blood flow in our legs, in our lower extremities, well, what happens? Well, people can start having pain when they're walking. They can start having numbness and tingling, especially if their blood sugar levels are up also. But excellent. Triglycerides, fat in the blood, a major risk factor in the definition of metabolic syndrome, over 50% reduction. So just fantastic. Then what was interesting Let's make sure people know this. Okay, well, how did the INFORM program compare the people who were just on the improved lifestyle and healthier eating habits versus the people that were in the healthier eating habits but also taking the INFORM product suite, the INFORM product kit? Well, that group had even more significant weight loss, more fat loss, as you can see, greater improvement in blood pressure, systolic and diastolic. Again, even better improvement in triglycerides than the group that was not taking the product. So it wasn't just the healthier lifestyle and the healthier eating, healthier diet. Cholesterol also decreased and a greater reduction in LDL cholesterol. So across the board, much better results with the informed product suite, which you can see here. Very nice, the different types of shakes, as you know. I've got the pea, the soy, and the whey. Love the colors. Remember that? What's that icon there? That's clinically studied program. Uh, the berberine, which is phenomenal. Remember, excellent for uh, helping blood sugar metabolism, also for inflammation. And then one that we all need to be taking every single day, I recommend to everyone. If you're not taking a probiotic, you need to start taking a probiotic right away. And then, of course, the cardio kit. The cardio kit, which includes the omega the Cardiax LDL, and the Super Supplemental. So the Cardio Kit, fantastic. And now we have the data on the uh, Cardiax LDL. So is Inform the same as other programs 
uh, on the market? Absolutely not. Inform is completely different than anything else on the market with the proof to back it up. So remember, this is a very key point. Inform is completely different than anything else on the market. And with the proof to back it up, and if you'd like, you can go to the internet and you can look up one of the clinic clinical uh, studies that we've done at the Hughes Center. It's now online as you've seen. So when you compare INFORM to other programs, increased weight loss, increased fat loss, greater improvements in triglycerides, total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, it's all documented, outperforming other programs. Here's Shane and Sharice's story. Together they've improved their metabolic age by 43 years. They've lost over 60 pounds together. His cholesterol levels down 24 points because Shane's cholesterol uh, levels were starting to creep up too much. Uh, Charisse, 11 points in her case, and you can see them. They just feel better, more energetic, and they're just happier in general. So phenomenal results. Very, very happy about that. So we were talking a little bit uh, earlier about how the INFORM targets the root cause. You know, one of the really important factors in what's causing all this metabolic dysfunction. And as you know, with Dr. Tripp's team, we have a real focus on gut health. And it's all about gut health. So a question for you is, what are some of the factors that cause our gut to go from healthy to toxic? Start typing. We've got about 10 seconds. What are some of those factors that affect not only, well, they affect us, but specifically they affect our gut and make it go from healthy to a toxic gut environment, what we also know as the microbiome. This group seems very fast, Scott. Have you got anything? I do, yeah. It's coming in uh, pretty fast. I've yeah, seen a lot of processed food comments, sugar, carbs, excess sugar, grains, uh, medications, stress, oh. alcohol, uh, oh, probiotic excellent. imbalance. So, yeah. A lot of excellent. Stuff. So, so the first one you mentioned was? Processed food. Okay, processed foods, absolutely, absolutely, and you know what, I know with a lot of my patients, they're really kind of unaware when they open up this bag of, you know, stuff that turns your hands all orange and they're just eating it, you know, this, you know, like Cheetos type stuff, full of artificial flavors, our bodies are not evolved to metabolize that kind of stuff, leads to inflammation, full of artificial colors, as well as all the salt and all the junk in it, but that processed stuff, it's all, it's artificial, we are not engineered to be able to metabolize that kind of stuff. I also heard you mention sugar, absolutely. Is sugar, uh, is sugar something that we can't have zero sugar? No, the body needs sugar for metabolism. The problem is excess quantities of sugar. And as you know, sodas are loaded with sugar, but not just sodas, it's everywhere, like in ketchup. A lot of my patients, they don't know that one third of ketchup is sugar. They go, really? I say, yeah, if you have a tablespoon of, of ketchup, well, a teaspoon of it, one third of it, it's just sugar. So the sugar, you need to look for the hidden sugar. Obviously, we know that if we put five teaspoons into a cup of coffee, okay, I'm looking at five teaspoons, but make sure that your clients are aware of the hidden sugars that are in the foods. Very important to check the labels. But, yeah, great job with the answers. So when we look at the junk food diets and all this processed junk, there it is, absolutely. Someone also uh, mentioned uh, stress. Super important. We know that stress leads to poor health, leads to inflammation. That's what I like about the INFORM program. It's a holistic approach. Uh, the participants have you. They have the coaches to help support them, to encourage them, to empathize, to really be there to lead them into a healthier and happier lifestyle. Remember that group dynamic, as we know, also extremely important because Stress is really affecting so many people nowadays, especially not getting enough sleep, too much time on the computer in bed, you got the iPad going, we got all this blue light flashing at us from our monitors and screens. So, you know, the poor sleep combined with uh, everyday stress, plus the stress from our environmental exposure, absolutely, uh, you know, takes its toll on us. So when we look at the uh, environmental stressors, oh, let me see, am I clicking here? Sorry, Dr. B. I think I bumped the mouse. So uh, it, try it now, and I think it should work for you. Let's see. I'll click again. No, not right now. Oh, here we go. 
And then, of course, the environmental factors. Uh, you know, it's amazing. Um, I was just up in Northern California a few days ago uh, by Monterey. And if you hadn't been to Monterey, my goodness, is it gorgeous. And it happened to be a gorgeous day, you know, mid-60s, sunny, just unbelievable. And I realized, my goodness, I can breathe okay. I'm breathing. Come back toward the Southern California, within 30 minutes, complete congestion in the nose, frontal sinus pressure, eyeballs, you know, feeling like they're kind of pushing forward. Unfortunately, the air here is terrible, and my body feels it right away. So... All right, we need two weeks uh, vacation in Monterey and Carmel, Scott. Put it on record. Hey, there. I'm, I'm there. We're all going let's up together. We're all going up together. Let's breathe some healthier air. So let's talk about the microbiome. So we know that the, the gut is now extremely important, not just for digestion and for having you know uh, normal bowel movements, but we know that it's extremely important with the whole body. And most people don't realize this that the gut is such such a key factor and that it plays a, a, an extremely important role in, in our whole body. So when we look at the neurological system, respiratory, our glandular system, obesity and weight totally tied into gut health, our skin depends on gut health. Higher levels of, of rashes and, and problems like uh, psoriasis, which is also seems to be tied in with stress, uh, blood sugar control intimately uh, related to gut health, hormonal balance, as well as cardiovascular, so basically the whole body. Okay, here's a, here's a question for you. I like this one, this neurological. We know that serotonin, for example, there are different neurotransmitters that the brain uses um, which affect our mood. We know uh, decreased serotonin levels so we can feel more anxious, we might feel more down, we might feel more depressed. What percentage of some of these neurotransmitters, let's say like serotonin, is manufactured in the gut. Start typing, what percentage do you think of neurotransmitters like serotonin is actually manufactured in the gut as opposed to in other parts of the body or as opposed to in the brain? And we'll give you a little music. <laughs> boom, boom. What have we got, Scott? Okay, uh, interesting numbers coming in. Uh, on the low end, I see 50%. On the high okay. end, I see 100%. And lots of numbers in between. Okay, so very good, very good. You know what? The number is closer to over 80%. And some estimates up to 90%. So not quite 100, but up to 90%. So imagine that. Let's, if, if almost 90% of certain neurotransmitters which affect our mood and how we feel emotionally are manufactured in the gut. Well, what's going to happen if the gut is unhealthy and toxic? And this is something that we see and inform a lot. People who get on the program, they start uh, following the healthier lifestyle and the healthier eating habits, and especially they start taking the probiotic, the informed probiotic. They say they're feeling better emotionally. So it's not just always from losing weight, but it makes sense. You may be feeling better emotionally because guess what? You're probably producing more healthy, beneficial neurotransmitters. So it's amazing this gut-brain connection, and as you know, there are some interesting books regarding this gut-brain connection, and it's not just brain, it's the whole body, it's our whole system. So let's make sure that people understand in our gut, in the microbiome, we have good bacteria, which help us with our metabolism, heart, bones, brain, rest of our body, and then we also have bad bacteria, which are usually coming from poor dietary habits, all those toxins we talked about with the processed foods, for example. So these bad bacteria, what's the problem? Well, they produce toxins that can have a really disastrous effect at the cellular level and for multiple systems. So we want to increase the number, we want to decrease the amount, number of bad bacteria, we want to increase the number of good bacteria. Okay, one more bonus question. I'm throwing the questions out today, all right, Scott? I know we're going over. I love it. I'm excited. We're excited. I know we have a great group here. Um, there's a lot of bacteria in the gut, normally. That's normal. We always have a lot of bacteria. We need it for all these cellular functions. We need it for digestion. How much do those bacteria weigh? Because we know it's about 100 trillion. But what does 100 trillion mean? It's hard for me to relate to 100 trillion. How much do those bacteria weigh? For two nights, all expense paid trip in your own home, the answer is? All right. Well, we're getting some, some, I think, pretty good numbers coming in. Uh, seeing three to five pounds, four to six pounds, 
Uh, Excellent. Right on the button. Who, 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 who gave the three to five pounds and the four to six pounds? Yeah, the first first three to five pounds was Nilia Roatosh in New York. All right, and, uh, New Mark, York, my, my hometown, New York City. Hi, Nilia, great answer. And it is it does seem to be in most people about three to six pounds. So if I'm thinking, gee, I've got about five pounds of bacteria in me, I'd like them to be beneficial bacteria. I don't want them to be toxic bacteria that's going to make my, my health worse. So fantastic. Thank you. Good answers. Let's keep moving. So when we look at the, the studies, well, I showed you the study, the, the, the study that we talked about that's published, but there's another really interesting study, and some of you may be familiar with this one. This is from the University of uh, uh, Washington School of Medicine, Washington University School of Medicine. So they took the gut bacteria, they took the gut bacteria from, from, two twi from twins, and one of those twins, and these are identical twins, was overweight, and the other one was normal weight. They took the bacteria and put them into genetically identical mice, fed them the same diet, and guess what happened? This is what happened. The only difference in these two mice in terms of their lifestyle, diet was the same, was the, un the unhealthy gut bacteria. So the, that inflammatory toxic bacteria from this human caused the obesity, contributed to the obesity in these genetically identical mice. So again, this is something that's been reproduced that we now know Oh my goodness, look at the effect these gut bacteria can have on someone who's on the same diet. In this case, the mice that are on the same diet. So really amazing results and very, very interesting study. So as we look at, oh, I think I clicked. Let me go back here for a second. As we look at the uh, informed program and as it works, as you know, it's very straightforward. You get the metabolic age support product system. So we get the product suite. You get the informed meal plan, healthier eating. These are healthier eating habits. I really don't like to be on a diet. I like to eat healthier. I like to eat smarter. Exercise plan? Absolutely. Does that mean you need to go out and do an hour of cardio five days a week and this and that? You know, when I tell people to do an hour of cardio so much time, a lot of times people just tune out. If I say, look, if you're someone who's kind of sedentary and doesn't do much, go for a 10-minute walk. You know, move your arms. Get your heart rate up a little. Go for a 10-minute walk. This is assuming someone has been cleared by their healthcare provider to do exercise. And guess what? When I say do 10 minutes, people say, well, no, Dr. Like P, I can do 20 minutes. I can do half an hour. I say, fantastic, do half an hour. But the main thing is to do whatever they can because it's been shown. Even three minutes of high-intensity uh, exercise, very, very beneficial. So if you can walk an extra few minutes a few times a day, an extra 10 minutes, if you like to do um, different types of exercise, uh, let me ask the, the group, what is the best type of exercise to do? What does the group think is the best type of exercise to do? And we'll get those answers. And then here we see number four, education and coach support. So you guys are extremely important. Maintain that enthusiasm because if you're enthusiastic and you're positive, your participants, your clients are going to be enthusiastic because sometimes it can be tough. They've got to change their eating habits. Maybe they're changing their lifestyle habits. They're eating less junk food. They're getting less sugar. They may feel run down in the beginning of the program because they're not getting all of that sugar and junk food and processed food kick, which it gives you. So it's important that we stay positive and keep guiding them in a positive direction. So what's the best type of exercise, Scott? All right. Uh, we've got a sharp group here, Dr. P. Most of them are, are responding. That it's, it's the exercise that you will do. Absolutely, totally correct answer. It's the exercise that you enjoy. So it's not cardio, it's not treadmill, it's not swim. It, it's the one that you enjoy doing, whether it's Pilates, whether it's the bike, whether it's swimming, whether it's fast walking, whether it's even slow walking. And then one of my favorites, as Scott knows, is dancing. Dancing is great. And you, don't, you can turn the radio on. It doesn't cost anything. You don't have to join a club. You can, you can do it almost anywhere. Tricky to do in your car, although you can even do gluteal squeezes in the car. I like to do those. Squeeze those glutes when you're in the car. That helps a lot. So it's the exercise that you enjoy doing. Great answer. So as we close here, let's remember that what we're trying to do is help restore that balance. And how we're going to do it, we're going to do it in three simple steps. Number one, we want to reset. We need to reset. We need to get rid of the bad eliminating the toxic bacteria and clearing the way for the good. 
So let's reset. Number two, we need to repair. We need to start repairing our gut microbiome in particular. So we need to build up the good with a targeted focus on gut health. And we want to restore that balance and we want to support our core metabolic functions. So once we start repairing, now we want to replenish. We need to keep this going. We want to maintain a healthy balance. We want to promote optimal metabolic function. How? By maintaining the gut health. As we've seen, if our gut is unhealthy, we're unhealthy. And it's not just about weight. Here's a question for you as we move through this. Can skinny people also suffer from metabolic syndrome? Let me repeat it. Can skinny people also suffer from metabolic syndrome? Let's see what the group thinks. So when we look at the benefits of the INFORM program, as you know, there's a myriad of benefits. So besides, I'm not going to run through all of these, uh, but we know it's going to support gut health. We've got all the technical information of how it happens. It's going to help uh, reduce the risk of heart disease based on our studies. It's going to help promote muscle recovery, enhance the buildup of lean muscle mass. So this is especially important for some of our uh, elderly or older seniors, like myself now. I guess I'm almost a senior. What the heck? feels great to be a senior. We want to make sure that lean muscle mass uh, is there. We don't want to become weak and then there are more falls. Uh, it's going to help with LDL cholesterol, triglyceride levels we looked at, healthy blood pressure to maintenance, and remember that mood I mentioned? Supports a positive mood. Now we know how that happened because a lot of the neurotransmitters are produced where? They're produced in the gut. And then super important, helping support healthy insulin response uh, because we know of all the problems with blood sugar and all of those complications. So what answers do we get there, Scott? All right. 100% uh, of the answers that have come in have said yes. Yes, and that is true. One out of four people who are, quote, skinny or normal weight are now felt to be metabolically obese internally. One out of four, 25%. So it is a huge number. So if someone says, well, I don't, I don't need the INFORM program. I'm not overweight. How do you feel? What's your energy level like? What's your, what are your eating habits like? What's your diet like? And if they have some of their you know, uh, lab results, what are your lab results like? Because you may be uh, metabolically obese internally. You may have metabolic dysfunction and metabolic syndrome even though you're skinny. Scott can tell you, for those who haven't met me, I'm pretty thin. My dad was thin, but I don't know what he, what he passed away from because he left when I was very young, about six months old. So I never really knew uh, you know, what my risk factors were on my father's side of the family. I do know that he died in his 40s, so I try to stay on top of things even though I'm thin because I know I could also be affected by metabolic syndrome. Fortunately, I, I try to practice what I preach, so I try to eat healthy. I try to maintain, uh, you know, some physical activity, things that I enjoy. And to be honest with you, I take the products. I took my vitamins, my supplements, I had my shake this morning. I take them every single morning. If I don't have my protein on board in the morning, I just don't feel like I have enough energy. So absolutely, remember, for some folks who are skinny also, they may be at risk. They can benefit from the INFORM program. So what's one of the ways that we like to measure what's going on with this deterioration of metabolic age? Well, it's that famous BioTracker, which you're all familiar with. Love the BioTracker. I don't use it as an absolute number. I like to use the BioTracker to help guide us and to help encourage people to see their improvement. So if their metabolic age was high when they started, they can see it to start coming down. It gives them some good feedback to get an idea of how they're doing with their metabolic indicators that the BioTracker uh, follows. And then as I mentioned, great part about INFORM is you don't have to do it alone. As you know, it's been shown over and over and over, people that try to lose weight alone, very difficult, high failure rate. When people do it in a group, especially a coach group, a positive group, a high energy group, you know, a group with a great positive attitude, they, they tend to lose more weight and keep the weight off also. And if anybody asks them, well, what about with, uh, you know, compared to other competitors, up to two and a half times greater weight loss with the INFORM program compared to all these different competitors are that for legal reasons we took the uh, the names off but you know them all these are all these, some of these are advertised on television uh, different programs two and a half times greater weight loss with the inform program for those people that are looking to lose weight so just an incredible program as you know 
Let's maintain that enthusiasm. You guys are doing an amazing job. I hope I get a chance to meet every single one of you. Uh, if you see me, give me a hug. I like hugs. Uh, let's keep that positive energy flowing, and I hope to see you soon at, uh, at another Nature Sunshine event. Remember, Inform is not just a diet, but it's life-giving, transformational habits for life. Let's keep it going. Thank you so much for your attention today. I'm going to turn it over now to Scott Terry, who as always does a fantastic job. And I love working with Scott because he's such a positive and great person, uh, just like everybody else here today on the webinar. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. P. Remember, live healthy and live happy. Thank you very much, Scott. Oh, Dr. P., thank you so much. As always, just another outstanding presentation. We know that uh, whenever we get to hear from Dr. P., it's, it's going to be rock solid. It's going to be new with, uh, with relevant information, as we learned today with the, the Canadian Journal. Uh, and for those of you who do need that, a link to that website, uh, just send me an email, and I'll be happy to send that to you. Uh, I've noted a couple of you have commented in your, your comments that you'd like me to email that information. I will be more than happy to send that to, to you. Uh, for the rest, if you'd not type that in and, and you would like uh, a link to the Canadian Journal that Dr. P referenced, then just send an email to Scott T, S-C-O-T-T-T, -T -T, so three T's together, at N-A-T-R dot com, N-A-T-R like nature, Dot com, Scott T at NATR.com. Just let me know you'd like the link to the journal that Dr. P referenced, and we'll be happy. I'll be happy to send that back to you. So thank you so much, Dr. P. And uh, I know your time is is precious. Would you have time to take three quick questions uh, before yes. we, we let, take a walk? Take a of, let's take a couple of questions if you'd like, Scott. This let's do it right now. Thank you. Uh, the first question, Mary is wondering if the INFORM program that we've looked at, that suite of products that, uh, that you are uh, a key part of, are they okay for someone who uh, happens to be pregnant? Oh, that's a great question. Um, as we know, in terms of the ingredients with the different products, uh, they're naturally based products. It, it's, it's uh, you know, these are generally safe to take. However, with uh, women that are pregnant, I always recommend they check with their health care provider because everybody's case may be a little bit different. So my recommendation is make sure they check with their health care provider. They can show them the ingredients, you know, either something printed out or even online and get the okay that way. But we know, for example, if we look at the cardio kit um, and the omega-3 fish oil that's in it, but we know that's extremely beneficial not only for the mother but also for the baby, especially when it, when it comes to brain development. Um, and, and that's something that's recommended for women. In terms of the protein, we know protein is extremely beneficial for the mom and, again, for the baby. But always double check when someone is pregnant. Better safe than sorry. Perfect. Thank you, Dr. P. Uh, Marcia's wondering, uh, you mentioned earlier in our uh, conversation a, a good amount of CoQ10 that someone should be taking just on a regular basis. Can you share that, uh, that recommended dosage? For CoQ10. Yeah, sure. Yeah, great question. Uh, you know, as, uh, for those of you who know me, remember I'm a real big believer in CoQ10, also probiotics. You know, let's say you've got clients who are not on the INFORM program, they need to be on a probiotic. At least get on a probiotic. If they don't want to change their eating habits, their lifestyle, maybe they smoke, whatever, get on a probiotic, take CoQ10. I personally take 100 milligrams of Nature Sunshine uh, CoQ10 uh, every day. Some folks may need up to 400 milligrams. Uh, depending on the dosage of their statin and also how they're feeling. But a lot of people do well with 100 milligrams. Uh, some people do well with up to 200 milligrams. And I've had a number of patients that I've recommended CoQ10 to. Uh, I'm not a distributor. I'm part of the Nature Sunshine Advisory Board, but I do recommend the products, of course, since I personally take them and my wife and my kids take them. Um, they will tell you that, oh, you know what? I feel like I have more energy. I'm feeling less achy. My muscles aren't so sore. So that's really wonderful when that happens. So I take 100 milligrams every day, Scott. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, you've inspired me. I, I've got to got to increase my my dosage as well based on your your comments. So thank you. One final question, if you would, uh, Dr. P. Uh, this is from Lori, and uh, we're we're hearkening back to the early part of our conversation where we talked about LDL, HDL, and and triglycerides. And Lori's wondering, can a person reach a point where their LDL and triglyceride levels are too low 
and their HDL levels are too high. Can that ratio ever, I guess, be skewed to the point where it's, it's unhealthy? Yeah, that's a great question, Laurie. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. One, one of the things I love about this group at Nature Sunshine, so well informed and just so eager to learn all the time, which is one of the reasons that I love medicine is that we're always learning something. So with the extremely low cholesterol and lipid levels, it can definitely be an issue because we know that we need cholesterol. Our cells need cholesterol as building blocks, especially for cell walls. So when cholesterol levels are extre extremely low, like in malnourished, um, adults and malnourished kids, that's definitely a problem. So you don't want your cholesterol level to be too, too low. Now, in terms of the HDL being too high, I have not heard of any issues with HDL being high. And I'm kind of jealous when I see some of my patients and people at Nature Sunshine, they've got these HDLs of like 80. And mine's in the, uh, you know, high 40s, which I've been working on getting up, but I think that's a, a genetic thing. I haven't heard of HDL levels being too high. We do want to be careful that cholesterol levels are not abnormally low because, as I mentioned, the, the body does need them, especially as a building block. Okay, super. Dr. Pete, thank you so much. Uh, as, as we mentioned earlier, you're just, you're just a, a breath of fresh air of, of information and, and also a very positive person. I've seen you several times at different Nature Sunshine events. You always have people around you because they love to be associated with someone that's positive and, and hopeful and, and inspiring, which is just the person you are. So thank you for, for doing that, for lending all of that to, to us on our call today. And uh, we have a few more slides that I will go through, but if you need to take off, uh, we certainly understand, and we'll look forward to having you back with us, hopefully, again, before too long. So thank you. Yeah, so no, that's great. I really appreciate it, Scott. It's always a pleasure uh, hearing your voice. And uh, if anyone has any comments or other questions, please just send them in to Scott, and then we'll, we will try to lake, take a look at them later. If you like the program, send your comments in. Uh, we love to get the positive feedback also. And if there's something you'd like changed, let us know about that also. We're here for you, and we're here to help. Uh, we're really here to help the whole planet. So let's go out and do it one person at a time. Thank you so much. Take care, Scott. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. P. You too. Talk to you soon. All right, folks. Wow. that it, uh, What a webinar. This is just just been incredible, um, great new information that uh, that you're the first to know. And thank you all for being part of, of our call today. Before you go, just a, a couple final slides, as I mentioned. We want to remind you of some of the tools that are available that uh, that we hope that you're aware of, that we hope that you're utilizing and and helping you carry this great message to to, as Dr. P just said, to the planet. Uh, that's that's our our goal together. You're likely familiar with our Inform mini brochure. Uh, you see it on your screen currently. Uh, it is available in a package of 50 for for two dollars and fifty cents. So very very inexpensive. It's a nice quad fold brochure, meaning it folds out into four panels uh, and Actually, there are eight panels when you consider both sides of the brochure. So lots of good information to, again, differentiate our program compared to the other programs that are out there. You'll recall that the, the title of our webinar today was more than just weight loss, how INFORM is different. And this uh, brochure will help you explain the differences with INFORM and, and the myriad other choices that the people have. We've also created a couple of beautiful videos that uh, we want you to be aware of. These are located on YouTube. Uh, we have an Inform introductory video, the, the screenshot that you see on the left with the, the URL where you can find this on YouTube, as well as uh, a, a fun visual video that shows you how the microbiome work in the body. Inform and the microbiome. Dr. P taught us about the good bacteria and the the role it plays in the body, the bad bacteria, the harm it can cause in the body. So you can get a nice explanation of what's going on with the microbiome with that video link on your right. Let me mention too, I know we've gone through some of these slides quite quickly today. There's been a lot of information on some of the slides. They're, they were quite text heavy. So uh, if, if you would like to revisit the slides, there is a link on your screen right now where you can actually download every slide that we've looked at uh, today with a little set of notes or lines uh, for notes off to the right. I'm sure several of you have done that already. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that link active as, as long as uh, we're talking on our webinar today for, for a few more minutes. So if you've not yet had a chance to download the link to all of the slides uh, where you, you can revisit this information that Dr. P has shared with us, that is available uh, to you right now. 
Okay, so a couple of videos that can help you share the information uh, to your potential customers and clients. Also, we've created a, a beautiful little Wellness Now uh, kind of two-page spread that talks about uh, the Inform in its entirety. What can happen when a, a person goes on the Inform program with you as, as their coach or their guide? This can be ordered in full color uh, in uh, packs of 25. You see the stock number on your page. Uh, those are, are $6 for a package of 25. We've also made a link to this uh, to this very item document available on our webinar today. And so you can order or download it free in a, a PDF format right now from the link if you would would like. Uh, Doreen just typed in, she says, I love the wellness now, and that's great, uh, Doreen. I, I hope that it's been a, a great tool for you and, and for several of you that are on our, our call. If you haven't used it yet, take a look at it. We're confident that it will be a, a nice boost to help you help others understand the, the power of INFORM. We have a great uh, little PowerPoint presentation. If you're familiar with PowerPoint and you like to, to use slides, PowerPoint is what we're using on our webinar today. It's a, a Microsoft uh, software program that allows you to, to show slides, to create slides. That's what we're using currently. We've created a nice INFORM introductory uh, presentation in PowerPoint format that's available on the coaches panel. That, uh, or portal, I should say, that you can download uh, free of charge, of course, and, and use, use that as you sit down in either one-on-one -on -one settings or maybe in a group setting, help you share the, the informed information in a nice visual format. So those are a handful of the tools that are created. We have several others, of course. Uh, if when, if not if, but when uh, you have a chance to go to the coaches portal, please take a look at uh, all the different tools that are there. We've highlighted a, a handful now, but there are several others that I think you'll enjoy and, and benefit from. Let's jump uh, right to our final slides. Uh, we want to remind you that we have a great promotion for those of you that start an informed group this month, the, the month of November. Today's day one, so you have 30 days to get a group up and running. If you start a group with uh, five or more people, you'll receive a $150 product credit. That will go directly into your account that you can apply towards any products of your choosing. If during the month your informed product sales eclipse one of two benchmarks, either 600 QV in informed product sales or 1,000 QV in informed product sales, we'll give you an additional 150 product credit on top of the first 150 that you'll, you'll receive for starting a group. So you have the potential to receive up to $450 worth of complimentary product credit this month by starting a group of five or more people and then having that group hit uh, or a, a cumulative total doesn't all have to come from that particular group. But if you have a thousand or more QV in informed product sales, we'll send you an additional 300 product credit for a total of 450. So a great opportunity to stock up. That's the equivalent really of, of two of the informed metabolic age support system kits. So you could turn that $450 product credit into two kits that you can then sell or, or gift or really whatever you would like to do. So, boy, we hope that you'll take advantage of that, that product credit that's, uh, that's waiting there for you for your efforts. We'd like to announce our recipe contest winners from our last, uh, last week of, of webinars. Nancy Lipanoga is our one of our Winners, uh, Tony McAdams, congratulations. Uh, we'll just remind you that these are folks that sent in a, an Inform approved or a nice healthy uh, recipe. They shared that on the Facebook page and they were voted as one of our winners for the week of, of, of this past week. Marsha Bird, I think, I'll, I think I've seen all three of your names on our webinar today, so congratulations to all three of you folks. Uh, Kay Lubecki was a winner as well. Julie Donovan, way to go. Julie, I saw your name on our call today, congratulations you as well. Thank you for submitting those brand new, uh, fresh, fun, inform approved recipes that, uh, that you, you shared with us. So well done. Our winner, the winner of our drawing that comes from these five names that you see on the screen right now is Nancy Lipanoga. So Nancy, way to go. I believe you're from the great state of Michigan. So Nancy, if you can send me an email letting me know which of the grand prize options uh, you would like, whether it's a, the diffuser or an authentic essential oils kit, a kit of the oils. If you uh, can just send an email to me, scottt at natr.com, indicate what, 
what option you would prefer as your grand prize, we'll get that sent on its way to you. So well done, you ladies. Way to go. Little reminder that uh, our Inform Challenge is currently underway. We, we run this every quarter of the year, so we're just uh, in month two of the fourth quarter, or starting month two of the fourth quarter of the year. No registration period. You can sign up anytime. All we ask is that you, you or your uh, coach participants go through 13 weeks of healthy transformation. We're going to award nice prizes uh, early first quarter of next year. You, as the informed coach, can win if one of your participants uh, is the winner. Now, a participant needs to have a Nature Sunshine Products account number, so very, very easy, very straightforward to do. Simply go to naturesunshine.com forward slash challenge to, to register. You'll answer a couple of questions. We'll get you on your way and, and get you in that, that great uh, program. And really, look at this uh, bottom line here. Every participant who completes the challenge is going to receive $25 in free products. So nothing to lose, a whole lot to gain. The first three winners will receive what you see on the screen. I don't think uh, I'll take the time to go through each of these items individually. Most of you have probably seen this before, but it is a, a, a really nice uh, reward, nice prize for the top three finishers. And again, everybody that participates and completes the challenge will get a, a $25 product credit. So let's get you registered. Let's get your participants registered and, and have some fun during the next uh, 13 weeks. Our next webinar will begin uh, two weeks from today, Tuesday, November the 15th at this very hour, which uh, began at 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. We are going to take next week off. Next week is the, uh, the National Election Day. Tuesday the 8th is uh, Election Day. So we thought uh, we would uh, give you an opportunity to go, to go vote, vote your conscience, and let's see what we can do to to uh, maintain this great country of ours or improve it if, if we need to improve it. So don't, uh, don't plan to attend our webinar next week on the 8th, and we'll get back together on Tuesday, November the 15th at this very hour. From all of us here at Home Office, from all of uh, you that have joined us from, from coast to coast, we thank you so much for uh, joining us today. A uh, quick question come in from Melissa. She happens to be one of our, our recipe winners today. Melissa, uh, you're asking, how do we submit Inform Recipe for prizes? All you need to do is go to the Facebook page, uh, the Inform Coaches Facebook page, and uh, share one of your, your recipes. I'll need to double check and see if that, uh, that uh, what do we call it, um, that program is still going on for the month of October, but we also wel always welcome great recipes. I think your fellow coaches will We'd we'll love to see what you, you've tried and, and like and, and want to share. Many people will benefit from that. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, all of us here, as mentioned. Uh, we'll look forward to having you back with us on Tuesday, November the 15th. Have a wonderful couple of weeks until then. Thanks again and so long.